Today we're going to be doing an eyebrow lamination using our Be Pampered products. Uh, it's about a 15 minute service and you can do it with anybody who has a significant amount of eyebrows. Basically what it does is it uh, makes your eyebrow hair a little bit more pliable so that you can uh, style it in the way that you want it to be and you can kind of get a fuller eyebrow look out of it. So the first step we're going to use is our oil-free uh, gentle cleanser to get off any surface oils. Make sure you get right underneath, get it nice and clean. And then one of the most important steps with our product is we want to protect the skin with barriers. So we use Vaseline. You want to make sure that you're getting a really good coverage on the skin. So first I start with applying it above the eyebrow hair. And then I brush it up and then we go underneath. It's really important to get underneath the hair as well. So I pull it back with my spoolie and just rub the skin with the Vaseline right on the skin under the hair. And then I like to just kind of give it a little brush just to get off any Vaseline that hit the hair there. So now that the skin's all protected, we're going to take our lash lifting glue and we want to be very sparingly with this. We don't want to use too much because if the glue, the glue starts acting like a barrier between the lotions and the hair, you're going to get spots where it's not really lifting as well. So just put a little bit amount on, take your spoolie and you're going to brush the hairs up into the position that we want them to be in. So right now it's pretty dramatic and I'm lifting them straight up. However, she doesn't have to style her eyebrows this way in the end. But we want them to be as straight up as possible. So some people it takes a little bit longer and it's a little bit harder to move the eyebrow hair into place. Her eyebrows are quite trained in this direction already, so it doesn't take a lot of effort. But just take your time. Like I said, try not to use too much glue. And then once they're in place, we're gonna take our lift lotion number one and our silicone brush. And we're gonna apply brush and brush it really lightly onto the hair. The benefits of using the silicone brush is you're not wasting any products and they're really easily sterilized in between each client. So once you have your lotion on, you're going to set the timer anywhere from three to five minutes, depending on the coarseness of the hair. Today I'm going to do four minutes. And then you want to cover it with some saran wrap so that it stays nice in place. And then we wait. So once your four minutes is up, you want to remove your plastic wrap. Take your silicone brush and you can just brush really gently just to get the lotion back off the brows. And then you want to take a wet cotton ball.
Not too wet, you don't want it dripping, but just a little damp. And just give it a little wipe, just to make sure that all the activation of the lotion has stopped, so we don't over-process the eyebrows. If you start noticing the eyebrows are going frizzy, you over-process them, so you always want to start out a little bit more conservative. And then the next step is, is we're going to do lotion, setting lotion number two. And this one you can apply a little bit more lotion to the brow, because this is the lotion that's building the proteins back up, and it's going to hold them back in place where we want them to stay. And then you're going to want to set your timer anywhere from four to five minutes. Today I'm going to do five minutes. If somebody has a weaker eyebrow, then you're going to want to do four minutes. Make sure you don't put the same area that you had the lifting motion on over top of the eyebrow. Grab a clean for five minutes. So five minutes is up. So we're going to remove our plastic wrap. Same as before, just remove the lotion, the bulk of the lotion anyway, with your silicone brush. And then we'll take a wet cotton ball all the Vaseline and all the excess lotion that's on there. And then we're going to take the eyebrows, brush them up, and now we're going to do a quick little shaping. So I use wax, you can thread, you can tweeze. I find waxing just gets all the little baby hairs and gives it a nice clean line. And you don't want to go too close we don't want to take away from the fact that she's got really nice eyebrows that give her character and are unique to herself, but we just want to clean it up. Never go over the same area twice with your wax, especially on the eyelids. So if we've missed any areas, we can tweeze them out. And then what I like to do is just kind of brush them down a little bit more into a normal position and then going in the opposite direction of the hair you can give them a little trim.
gonna do is I'm going to apply a little bit of a brow pencil. Just so that she can go home with a little bit. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of highlighter just so that our client doesn't go home with red skin and it kind of just finishes off the eyebrow. And then for your very last step, you want to take your number three nourishing lotion. I put a little bit on my spoolie. And just give it one last little brush up. And they can go home with this. And it'll help with the health of the hair after the treatment. And it'll make 